going on people welcome back to the channel please smash a like on the video you know what to do by now hit that like button come on you know what to do hit the subscribe button as well get us over to the 13,000 mark right let's have a look at this how would Bubakar Isamore fit into this Leicester City side at the King Power Stadium Obviously, Champions League football uh, eludes Leicester City, unfortunately, for another season, just missing out. But that shouldn't diminish the uh, the rise of Brendan Rodgers' management. The FA Cup obviously serves as a tangible reward for the development. A reminder that we are becoming a very, very fast, regular European football inside. To cement the position, though, I think Leicester need to recruit and need to recruit now. We still lack the financial backing, probably, of the big six. I think we are in the big six, but there you go. That's probably for another video for another day. Uh, in previous years, obviously, the Foxes, we've gone with players like Jamie Vardy out of nowhere, you know, £1 million non-league. Riyad Mahrez and, and Gole Kante from the French sides of absolutely nowhere. And uh, those two fo Foxes, former Foxes in particular, competed against one another in the Champions League final. Um, so recruitment has been amazing at Leicester City for mm, five, six years now. Um, you know, while they have continued to do that, uh, some players have gone, you know, the other way. Slimani and uh, Hernandez, do you remember him? And whatnot. Now, recruitment is good. Academy stuff is good too. Uh, and young players is what Leicester's all about. James Justin, Wesley Fofana, for example, two youngsters that have come in and they've really impacted the squad. Unfortunately for us, James Justin got injured. Uh, and he will be out till somewhere around when Santa Claus comes around and gives the presents to the kids. Now, we're at a level where we can aim for players who are more established and less of a risk. Uh, less of a risk, less of a risk. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. less of a risk. So, on that context, the rumour mill for quite a while now. If you've been under a rock, get out of the rock. Bubakarai Samori from Lille. Yes, Lille did stun the footballing word, uh, world and won uh, League One. Okay, they won League One, putting PSG to, 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 to the mud, to the sword, so to speak. Now, the 22 year old. OK, he's 22 years old. He's almost like a, a, a NDD slash roll, um, but he can attack forwards as well. Uh, he's particularly excellent at progressing the ball, plays with uh, air composure and control, a valuable, intangible quality that gives his team a sense of calm when in possession. He stands at six feet two inches. Uh, very, very strong, which great, which means he can carry a ball as well. Uh, that's what we need, to be fair, in the middle. Um, a, a stronger Hamza Chowdhury, so to speak. Samore has an excellent passing range as well, often switching play from left to right. Uh, long, sweeping, diagonal balls, you name it, he's got it in his bag. He's also capable of disguising his passes as well, angling his body to make it appear he's passing one way, when in fact he's actually going to wrap his foot around the ball and curl it the opposite way. He's confident, elegant and has the technical quality to give substance as well. One issue with his passing is that he has a tendency to dwell on the ball and sometimes hesitates to pass the ball. In the Premier League where teams tend to pass more frequently and faster, could that could be a slight worry. But Overall, he looks like an overall very, very good player. Defensively, Samore tends to rely more on his physical attributes to win duels as opposed to outstanding positional sense. So not quite Angolo Kante where he reads, I think Angolo Kante reads the ball and reads the game. Probably one of the best in the world, if not the best in the world, let's be honest with you. But, but Samore here uses his physique more than reading the game. So he's more of a physical player like Hamza Charger than he is an Ndidi slash Kante. Uh, for Lille, his midfield partner Andre was more of a pure ball winner. And the Frenchman will likely need to be with a similar profile at, you know, of, of, of Leicester, such as Ndidi. So he will be paired up with Ndidi, not taking the role of Ndidi, uh, so to speak. Um, that's fine with me, but that, where does that sit with Yuri Tielemans? Where does Yuri Tielemans sit? Is this the player that we bring in for Yuri Tiemann's to get the nod to go? Could be. Yuri Tiemann's apparently hasn't signed that contract yet. You know, um, 
because he's holding out for the Euros. Is Yuri Tielemans going to put himself in the window? That's probably another video again for another day. But moving back onto Samore, um, it, you know, he's, he isn't much of a goal threat. And, uh, you know, you can't, he can't really be described as a true box-to-box -box midfielder, you know, in the same way of Suchek for West Ham. Um, his best work is done between the boxes, moving the ball from stale position into defence, uh, into incisive offensive midfield or final third as you guys would call it. For the Foxes, though, his talent uh, will be utilised under Rogers' preferred tact. Yeah, he would. He'd be used in a, a might be a 4-2-3-1 formation with two sitting with Ndidi next to him, Ndidi, or a 3-4-1-2. He'd probably be used as a as a more of a, a pivot slash midfield pivot role. Uh, for Samore, um, you know, he's defensively adept enough to play as a sitting midfielder, but probably not good enough to be on his own, like I just said. So he would be suited next to Ndidi, not suited with Yuri Tielemans, if that makes sense. Uh, looking at his uh, chance of signing, it's highly, highly there's a high chance of him signing, let's be quite honest with you. Um, he's friends with Fafana as well, which has already uh, been noticed by lots of you on Twitter. Uh, Fafana tweeted a little reply from one of Fabrizio Romano's tweets um, earlier on in uh, the last month of May. So I think this is a high chance of him coming, to be honest with you. I'm a little worried that if he does come, though, that uh, we might lose Yuri Tielemans as a you know potential move as a chain transfer uh smash a like on the video please guys please please hit the subscribe button as well uh, as we carry on with the transfer news and uh just talking about some of the players that are coming in i want your thoughts on Bubakarai samare in the video go now hit the comments what are your thoughts what are our chances of getting him and what are your thoughts of him i don't know all that much about him but Obviously, he's won the bloody French League, so he must be he must be mustered, right? I'd love him at the King Power Stadium. And I think with Europa League football, again, we need a bigger squad with better players with more squad depth. And this player will certainly add to that. He's an elite level talent is, you know, what's standing out here. And that's what Brendan Rodgers wants. He wants, he wants winners. And this guy is a winner, definitely. See you on the next video, guys. Smash a like. Find me at Lee underscore Chappy on all social media platforms and I shall see you on the next vid.